All right, so the Valve news, uh, and this is what I want to talk about, is kind of just the future of of Valve, but th- it's it's driven by this one question. So Valve uh, trademarked something called Neon Prime the past week, and it's a game. And we don't know exactly what, but the rumor is that it's from Ice Frog, the uh, director, creator of, of Dota 2, um, and that it's going to also be set in the dota universe uh it's pretty much agreed upon that it's not a first person shooter so i want to ask you what do you think what do you think it is and it's sci-fi it's pretty universally known that it's going to be a sci-fi game everybody was expecting it to be announced at the international but it has not been um i mean like i'm reading up on it just like right now I, i mean it could be literally anything i wouldn't be surprised if they uh move like try to compete with league here and maybe make their own MMO. Um, I mean, like they, I mean, like it's Steam or it's Valve. They can do whatever yeah. they want with this. Obviously, yeah. um, what it turns into though is, will be interesting. Maybe just a normal RPG game. But Valve has like said it in the past. Like they'll they'll never make a game unless it's like ben- like it's a staple and it's a benchmark to the technology yeah. that is available to us today. So as far I as what it will be i don't i'm pretty sure it'll be something we've seen before right but yeah. it'll be the valve in person uh, version i think of it. here's my here's my guess it's not as bold as as what you're saying because it's ice frog my guess is that this is going to be there's been a few mobas that have kind of stripped away the tower defense and just made it like straight like 4v4 or 5v5 pvp like brawler you know like just you're instantly mm-hmm. in pvp and that's all the game is you know I think that's what it's going to be. It's going to be like a more accessible sci-fi though uh version of Dota, new new un- kind of connected universe but not the same. And mm-hmm. it's only going to be PVP. Matches will take like 5 minutes instead of 45 minutes. You know, maybe like a little more accessible um because I, I w- MOBAs are really interesting. Like I feel like MOBAs are one of those genres that younger generations just like don't understand don't get into and have no interest in so but i feel like i just i feel like that's kind of the angle they're gonna go at is like something more accessible but kind of related to mobas because it is ice frog directing it um Mm -hmm. but i i wanted to ask you i wanted to pose this question to you and i'm glad you brought up like you know stuff that valve could work on what they've said in the past because they've had a weird history as of late right they've stopped releasing almost anything i mean artifact was a giant and unexpected failure of epic proportions um and half-life alex was a pretty good success but a niche you know not a very yeah uh, not everyone's gonna be able to jump into it yeah so what do you what 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 would you like it doesn't mean unrelated to neon prime like if you could pick what's valve's next game gonna be what would you like to see from them what what would you pick team fortress 3 yeah yeah why I think that there's just a market for it, you know, five v five, six v six. As like an Overwatch competitor. Um, yeah, like there's clearly a market for it. Like Valorant is extremely successful right now. Va- mm-hmm. Overwatch two is doing really good. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah. Um, but you know the 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 roller coaster that is gaming is constantly changing, and mm-hmm. sometimes the gaming market will be like, well, people are really preferring to play single player games, and now it's like, oh, now everybody wants to play like arena style shooters now everybody wants to play big team battle royale single yeah. player experiences now people want to play a competitive version of battle royale now mm. people want to play 5v5s again so what the hell's going on i don't yeah. think there's enough of the 5v5 uh, meta right now in mm-hmm. the gaming industry so i think team fortress 3 would be great the community for that is constantly and i mean constantly I think it would do content. very well yeah like there's a lot of rich storytelling that the game can do also if they wanted to double down on it. I know Dota has like its own anime, but I don't think people give a damn about it. Um, I was surprised I think, that even got a season two, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's so weird. Um, but Team Fortress has like opportunity to like make their own content, even yeah. as a community. Like a red like versus, the amount of like machinima that blue came type out. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's insane. So we'll see what happens. I, but I would, I'm, I think Team Fortress 3 would be that. I'm... I don't know what I want to see from them, like per se. Like if this Neon Prime thing is what I think it is, I think that could be really good. Um, I think they did their own official version of, of of Auto Chess too, and that flopped really hard. They which did. is funny because yeah. it spawned out of their game, but um, that happens a lot. But uh, Blizzard with uh, the original Dota and then Heroes of the Storm. 
but it's so i feel like people a lot of people who aren't maybe as old as me if i could say that like forget like valve has so many properties like they got day of defeat which was successful team fortress i'm glad you brought that up people forget team fortress i'm shocked and this is not really what i want from them because i don't like these games but i'm shocked we have not gotten by now a portal 3 or like a portal vr because like that seems like that could be done by a very small team you know like it doesn't it doesn't take a team of 300 people to make a portal game um and yeah. i just i'm really surprised that we haven't got a new one because there's demand for it for sure i mean you what do you mean there we got the rtx 40 series upgraded ai edition of portal 2 i, I did see that <laughs> i think you got yeah you got rt you got uh rtx in there now uh that's great but no, I, I would just, love to see another portal i feel like like, like you, literally let like a team of like maybe i'm wrong i'm sorry but a team of i feel like 30 people could make a new portal game on like a pretty small budget and uh Oh man, you gotta, get Cave jo- you gotta get Cave Johnson back in there, bro. Well, you're gonna sell tons of copies no matter what. Like it's it's pretty much built in success. I think Left for Dead is dead for good. I don't think you'll ever see that come. Yeah, back. I don't think we'll ever see it. Turtle Rock was also bought up by uh, Tencent. Right. Also, they, they so. could, they could. I mean, they could obviously. They own the IP. They could take it. They could get the people who make Vermin Tide to do it or something. I don't know. Which is weird. You would think Left 4 Dead would be like at its prime right now because of like those Vermintide like games right now. Yeah. Like sh- like even like a chivalry style Left 4 Dead game could be you know a, a possibility. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's, Plus it's really not. Plus Half Life I mean, should we really even talk about Half Life? <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh Valve, you'll never you'll never count more than two, will you? I think um, Team Fortress Three would be really good. I still wonder what if and when the next version of Counter Strike is too. You know, like. I don't think they need it at this point. I mean, remember how controversial it is? It still is, but it feels like it's got to come at some point, like inevitably. I think so too. Uh, I don't want to. Why are you smiling? Like you're up to something? (laughs) That's what she said. It's funny. Um, But who said? Well, you said. What do you think? Who else said? I don't know. Your dog's right. They're looking at you funny. As soon as he said that, she barked. Um, no, what I was gonna say is, uh, I don't know if like CS:GO even needs like an update because people will still swear up and down Source was the best version of CS, and uh, people still people swear still... 1.6 was the best version. Of yeah, CS. it's it's that's a never-ending cycle. It's like the it's like the CS version of Halo fans, like this people complaining about which version was better. Um, but like, I, 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 this is why I don't think this will ever happen. Could you imagine if they actually released, you know, a, a, a new version of Counter Strike? They're they're trapped in this same hole, right? This is this is the problem they have. They've been building. It's a it's their greatest strength and their greatest weakness. Everybody play has been playing those same maps, which are classic maps for what twenty years or so. You know, Dust, Dust Two, Office, blah 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 blah. If they release a new Counter Strike game, new engine, uh, all that stuff. And they had new maps. No matter how good those maps are, everybody's just gonna be like, "I want to play Dust 2. I want to, you know, like <laughs> it's just gonna, it's gonna be what happens. You sure are asking a lot of the five employees who still work at Valve for <laughs> That's CS. Well, <laughs> right? That's you it, got, you got the guy who has a Twitter here. profile, the IT guy. <laughs> that, I, I, that's a serious problem, I think, because if you're a developer there, like, and you want to work on like a new game. You're never gonna be able to. They but they don't they don't make games anymore. Like they do, but they don't. I mean, like that's not a problem for them though. They don't really need to do anything. They're Valve, man. You are in the well, biggest, if you're a largest who's creative platform. And has these ideas, and you want to like apply. You know, like you're just gonna leave. What's, there's a, there's an analogy for this about being so powerful you just don't need to do anything about it and it's just gonna you don't you literally just sit back there's an analogy for it but i don't know what it is because i'm not well it's a great problem old. to have but it's a great problem time, to have yeah i know all of their writers have essentially like i've seen uh, several of the writers have like left and come back like four or five times <laughs> like they go work on a game that they actually can ship and they come like back and they work at valve for like a year and then they leave and then they come back again and it's i, I really wonder what goes on at that studio because you practice you practically just read out casey hudson from bioware's entire resume <laughs> that right <now>. happens too <laughs> he's done that a lot too 
I think he's gone back. for good this time, but yeah. we'll see. Well, that's what we, that's what we thought last time. Joe Stanton could be the next one if he suddenly leaves 343 and then in another five years he's going to be back to save the next Halo game for a few years and then he'll be off again. Who knows? Gaming needs to die. We all need to go back to watching the same boring live action movies that we've seen a million times before with Chris Pratt. Oh, Jesus. There we go. All right. So uh, I'm going to skip over this last topic that we had. 